Hey everybody, and welcome to Plastic Nostalgic, where all toys are nostalgic. Eventually. Now today, I have another one of those Lego poly bags, this time the Ninjago set called Kai and Raptin's Temple Battle. Now Ninjago is not a set that I usually deal with, but there was too many figures in this little poly bag, and it's almost like you're losing money if you don't pick it up. So, let's get into this one and check it out. Today we have the Lego Ninjago Dragons Rising set. Kai and Raptin's Temple Battle. And set number 30650. This one has 47 pieces and two minifigures. Looks like it has a little temple little temple scene built out of some simple Legos and uh, has a golden frog and a golden dagger. And a ticket to Legoland. So let's get this out and get it built. Shouldn't take too long with just 47 pieces. Several of those pieces are, of course, parts of the minifigures. All right, got all the pieces. And here's the instructions. Ninjago Dragon Rising 30650. I always know the minifigures come first. So let's go ahead and pick out some of those pieces. That's a neat hair piece. Ninja helmet. There's that golden frog. And we have a bunch of ninja swords and gold daggers. All right. I think that's all the pieces for the minifigures. Let's find out. Yep, just like I thought. This must be Kai, the Red Ninja. He has a face with a smirk and a band-aid. And for his ninja costume, a mask. But of course, I did that again. Forgot to put this piece on. Always forget to put those shoulder pieces on when I'm building the Lego minifigures. And that completes his ninja hood. He gets to hold a gold sword. And one goes in his back. I guess it can go either way. It's a neat little interesting piece on the back. So I guess if he wants to store both swords, it is a little offset. So they both slide in nicely. And here's Kai, the Red Ninja. Now let's take a look at Raptin here. He also has some shoulder pieces here. And two sets of eyes. 
Ooh, one with metal teeth and one with his mouth closed. And he has the translucent orange sword. And this is the Raptor minifigure. Pretty scary looking face. I'm sure he's not a Cyclops, but he kind of looks like that X-Men Cyclops with that red visor. Okay, let's see how... Oh, I guess the minifigures weren't first in the Lego instructions. Wow. Let's see, step one. Should have built the temple first. Step one. Step two, get a couple of these tall gray pieces. And two of these green pieces. And that goes there. Step three. Now we add another green cylinder piece to a leaf. And put it in front of that one right there. That's what I really like about these Lego sets. Is they take the simplest, sometimes strange looking pieces and build a little model that is also fun to play with. Step four, we have the dagger. This goes right here. Beside the grass piece. Straighten out that dagger a little bit. Step five. Well, that seems easy enough. Step five. Sometimes I like to compare it to the picture as I'm building it just to make sure I have all the pieces when they don't have a piece list with each step. Step six. Have these two little clips here. And a dark gray block. In between them. Step seven. Now we have these black pieces and another gray block. Put that right on there. Starting to kind of look like a little temple. Step eight. Looks like another one piece step. Clip that right on the top. Okay, step nine. Okay, we get to make a couple little Chinese lanterns. 
but not real Chinese lantern. With this translucent red piece, a gold piece, and we have the lantern's lid. And the piece with which to hang it. If I can keep it in my hand. Now we have <laughs> two lanterns. Come back here. Two lanterns. And they clip right on the side. Like so. And while I don't usually collect the Ninjago sets, I have to admit they do come with some pretty interesting builds. Okay, we have this piece. And it goes there. Then we have two little wedge pieces. Make the top corners pointy. Oh, I imagine this is bamboo growing there. Let's see, what else do we have here? Step 11, the golden frog. Click this little piece here. And now we have the decorative frog at the top. That was pretty nice quick build. Got a few extra pieces, like another golden dagger. So there we have Kai and Raptin Temple Battle. The Ninjago Dragon Rising set number 30650. Thanks for joining us today on Plastic Nostalgic, where all toys are nostalgic, eventually. And like I said before, I don't usually uh, collect the Ninjago sets, but I think this little temple piece will look nice anywhere in a Lego city. So if you want to see some more unboxing of some soon-to-be nostalgic toys, be sure to like and subscribe, and leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to share, because as soon as I get to a thousand subscribers, I'm going to open up this Wolverine from Secret Wars 1984. See y'all next time.